So yeah, something I probably should just say is how do I practice fuzzies on the dummy? Um, all right, so I was actually just about to talk about that real quick. Um, so the first thing that you gotta do right is you gotta set the dummy to crouch. You gotta set the dummy to crouch, and you wanna set them at first when you're first practicing it. Set them to guard first only. So you know you set them to guard first only. And then, when you go for the fuzzy, you, uh, it should jail the whole way through. I got you right here, hold up. All right, I'll do the one that I know how to time every time. So, wow, I actually fucked it up. Um... At least for Bardock, this is like the easiest one. It's auto times. But the thing is... So right here... That high has to jail. And you know that they jail because they're crouching and you have them set the guard first only. If it didn't jail, they would've got hit. You don't want them to get hit. But, that's just the first layer. Right? Now, in Bardock's case, and almost every character, they usually have like an OS for when the hit happens. When the hit happens on the on the incoming meaty. Not after the not after you bring them to the ground. Not like on the mix up. So to test that, to practice confirming whatever OS you have to do, um, you have to set them to guard random. Some of the OSs you don't even have to hit confirm. They just do everything for you. Like the OS just confirms the block and the hit. Like I know Adult Gohan has one like that. The Adult Gohan's OS is, he uses JS, and he could combo JS in the Super Dash, and you also use Super Dash as the Dash macro to get the fuzzy. Like, he has an OS where, you know, it covers everything on hit and on block. But, um, Bardock, you gotta confirm the hit. Luckily, his JM hits twice, so you have enough time to confirm. So when I do it, I set him to guard random, and then you... On incoming, you confirm the block. So once you see the block, then you go for it. But on hit, it's much easier to confirm the hit later. So because the because the jam will hit twice. So you look for the block first, and then you're ready to dash as soon as you hit the ground. But on hit, you just press J2H. Like watch, I'm gonna send the guard random still. So. Right there, I fucked it up, but you would go for the fuzzy on block, and then on hit, you would J2H. This is like the best way to practice it, like, because you also practice the incoming meaty confirming it. Because they just take the hit, then, and you can't confirm it, then it's like, it really sucks. Like, if you can't, because if you could confirm it, then you could put them back into it. See, right there, I confirmed it. And then it sets it up again. See what I'm saying? So yeah, being able to confirm that, that hit on incoming is very powerful. Because you can snap them again. You could, you could put them in the fuzzy again. Which is just... I right, fuck that. I accidentally double jumped. Fuck. Yo, why am I not getting my dragon rush? Bruh. So yeah, if you're doing it with Bardock, I would just say my advice is to look for the block first because that's like the harder one that's the one you have to react to the quickest because the jam the j if on hit the jm is going to hit twice and you're going to have all day to confirm so you look for the block first like for me it's like once i'm doing it i like i input l and then i input l plus h and then i immediately hover my fucking fingers over my dash macro Cause if it gets blocked, I have to be ready to press forward dash macro, then IED. 
you know what I'm saying? But on hit, it's like I have way longer to confirm it, so I could just move my hand back to, to heavy and just press down heavy. And it might be, you know, it's different for everybody, but that's how I have been able to confirm it the way I've, that's my method right now. You can also, of course, just like confirm the hit into like whatever in the vanish, which would be easier. Jeez. Definitely just make sure you set them to crouch guard random if you're gonna practice confirming the incoming meeting. If you're OSing like your incoming meeting and you have to confirm it, it doesn't just confirm it for you, whatever OS you're doing. This is the best way to practice it. I accidentally jumped again. This is the way. This is the way. Alion says, 